Hi, my name is Muhammad Azlam. In this part of the lecture, I will be implementing GPIO via EMIO in all programmable SOC Zinc 7000. This part is the continuity of the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, I have implemented GPIO via MIO. And in this part, I will implement the same thing via EMIO. Of course, I will be using Vivado as a software and Zboard as a hardware. We already know that there are four different GPIO banks, banks 0, 1, 2, and 3, which all together makes 117 GPIO pins. And bank 0 to 1 are accessible to MIO and bank 2 to 3 are accessible to EMIO. So from pin 0 to 50, 53 makes MIO pins and uh, from 54 to 117 pins makes EMIO pins. This is the block diagram of our today's implementation. So Zinc as Zinc has PS and PL part in the PS C drivers related to EMIO interface will be running on PS and on PL we will have some logic here and these PS will be accessing to the PL via EMIO interface and uh, through PL these uh, EMIO pins goes to will go to external interface external signals and we will be controlling these external switches buttons leds p modes via ps c drivers and this is a hardware block diagram of z board in z board we have slide switches we have push buttons we have p modes great so this is a uh, Again, a block diagram of GPIO. In GPIO, we have MIO bank 0 and 1 and EMIO bank 2 to 3. Bank MIO and EMIO has the same interface. That is, both of them have four registers here. Data underscore read only. It is a 32-bit register which can read the cross corresponding EMIO pins. At the same time, there is a data 32-bit register that can write anything, uh, any data to the corresponding EMIO pins. And these two registers are used to set direction and output enable. So GPIO bank control, this time it is bank 2 to 3. So the corresponding driver that we will use in the later part of the video for data read is uh, xgpio ps underscore read pin and this pin number indicate the corresponding emio pin and data the corresponding driver that we will use is gpio xgpio ps underscore write pin and it has pin number and data pin number again indicate the emio pin number and data indicate 0 or 1 nice and this is uh, this driver is used to set set direction so again this is a pin number of emio and this is a direction it can have 0 or 1 0 mean input 1 mean output and that is output enable it's same uh, like of dirm it also have direction means to enable output if it is one means you can write on the corresponding EMIO pin if it is zero you have blocked the that specific pin you cannot write anything on that pin great so we have a theoretical knowledge of uh, uh, EMIO so let's go to the implementation part so this uh, this hardware is taken from the previous lecture so I, I I'm not gonna explain everything again so you need to go back and just pause that video and see the previous lecture the previous lecture ends on this on this block diagram so I'm gonna add some new things on this part 
so I will just double click on PS so I'm gonna add EMIO signals just go to MIO configuration and e in this go to the e IO peripherals in IO peripherals you have GPIO in GPIO so select EMIO GPIO width so you can select up to 64 bits that is bank 0 oh sorry bank 2 and bank 3 32 32 makes 64 but I am using here 45 pins and it's totally up to you you can select all these uh, it depends on your application click OK so now you have here uh, corresponding EMIO signals so it has uh, output input and this T means to control the direction so what I need to do is right click on this specific signal make external and click here so you will end up with this block diagram since these fixed IO and DDR atta are attached to PS so we don't need to have any XDC file here but if we talk about PL because EMIO are accessible are controlled by PL so it needs XDC file XDC file so <clears throat> so we have from 0 to 45 signals the next step is <clears throat> right click on it create HDL wrapper okay if I double click on it reload so I will have that signal sorry so I have from 0 to 44 pins here so I will attach these pins to the corresponding pins of LED sliding switch push buttons P modes so I have XDC file here so in XDC file so what I have done is so you can see these EMIO pins from 0 to 4 are attached to the buttons please remember these uh, numbers because I will use the same numbers in uh, C drivers so the first five are attached to the buttons the next eight from 5 to 12 are attached to the slide switches and the next eight from 13 to 20 are attached to LED and the remainings are attached to the P modes so there are four P modes in Z board P mode A, B, C and D which are accessible to PL and in the previous lecture we have seen that P mode E was accessible to PS so in total there are four P, uh, five P modes four are accessible to PL and one is accessible to PS great the next step is to click on generate bit stream on, if you click on the generate bitstream it will take some time to generate a bitstream after finishing a bitstream all that you need to do is export export hardware uh, skip, and click on include bitstream click OK and after that you will you you need to launch SDK I already have done everything for you so why I have done this thing because I want to make the video more compact and more concise so you can easily understand everything so I have already explained everything in the previous video as well so I don't want it to repeat everything again and again if you have any ambiguity and if you think I have missed any step just go to the previous uh, previous video and watch all, all the steps still if you have any problem just write a comment in the comment box I will try to answer your question yes <clears throat> so I what I what I have done here I I, I, I have generated a application project in application project I put some name here 
and then click next then I click on hello world then I finish it after finishing I have written some code here and this code is accessible to everyone so you can use that code for your application as well so what I have done here so in remember in every driver you have to do some steps and these steps are common in every driver in Xilinx the first step is initialization in initialization you will you will see a lookup table lookup configuration so that lookup configuration just see if the corresponding driver exists in this uh, SDK SDK library or not if it exists it will just copy the copy the address that map to the processor and that address will go to another configuration uh, another sorry in in another initialization function and after that function it will give you a driver by using that driver you can do whatever you want to do with that driver I have that driver now I will just configure uh, corresponding pins I will read and write the data from this corresponding pins so remember that so first four EMIO pins are uh, attached to the buttons that means the the first sorry first five pins are attached to the buttons uh, push buttons so these five push buttons th these five EMIO signal should be configured as input so uh, so set direction so you have a driver here you have a pin number and this is used to set direction 0 means input 1 means output so I have given a value uh, for pin pin number is 54 I have defined here pin number 54 why because the the starting pin for EMIO starts from 54 from 0 to 53 are for MIO that is why I have used the offset is 54 so 54 means uh, the zeroth pin of EMIO so I have uh, set the direction as an input and then I put output enable as uh, zero so you cannot write anything on that pin and then the next pin is offset plus one that is 55 and uh, the same way 56 57 58 so all these five pins are configured as input and remember the next eight pin was were attached to the switches and these are again as an input and the next uh, eight pin I have configured them again as an input again the uh, next eight EMIO pins were attached to the LEDs that is you can write something on LEDs so I have configured them as a output so I have written one means configured as output and output enable one means I have a level output pin that corresponding output pin and you can write anything on that pin now <coughs> I have configured these uh, signals buttons switches LEDs in the same way you can also put the uh, corresponding uh, and corresponding P mode signal but I have not used P mode signals here but these are already attached so you can use them easily so what I'm doing here so in a while one what I'm doing I'm just reading a value from a button and writing that value to the led zero and I'm reading from another button and writing to led one so these are the push buttons and uh, then I'm reading a value from switch slide switch and writing that value to led two LED two in the same way I'm reading a value from switch one sliding switch one and writing that value to LED three and at the end I am reading uh, from uh, fifth switch and writing that value to LED seven uh, <clears throat> after that 
what you need to do is uh, attach a Z board with your computer with your laptop and program it and right click on a test and click on launch on hardware that is all so I have a video here I have captured a small video here I will show a video to you people so you will have an idea how the system is working so I'm pushing a push button the corresponding LED glow I'm pushing another push button the second LED glows no sliding switch the corresponding attached LED is turning on yes yes now if I slide that switch down the corresponding LED will turn off so that is all so you have a uh, great uh, <clears throat> sorry so you have a demo here so next thing is uh, if you want to run the same project on your side I have uh, uploaded the corresponding codes on these links so you can easily go to that links if for example if you want to uh, run uh, the Vivado project go to that corresponding link and run the TCL file if you are looking for driver corresponding C drivers uh, so you can go to that link and you can download corresponding C code here and if you want more theoretical knowledge about that lecture go to that specific website you will have more detailed version a theoretical version of that lecture that's all from today please don't forget to subscribe and uh, share my channel see you in the next lecture till that goodbye